Do you have a workout schedule with Miami? Um, I don't think so. I think I have to ask DJ or someone about it, but all I know now is that I'm here. Is speaking of, speaking of. wouldn't work out for Miami? Uh, um, not really. They're in the top two, so I'll probably go down there and work out, but if not, too bad. Speaking yeah, of, speaking of. Gary, 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 I'm sure you've been looking forward to draft day for a long time. You're, what's your, how are you feeling now as you know it's only a week away of getting close? Oh, at first I was like, oh, I'm not sure I'm about it, but as, um, people keep coming up to me, um, ask me, am I excited about it? And now I'm just frantic. I just can't wait till they call my name. I don't care which team, but I, the Bulls. <laughs> I hope they call my name, and I hope I um, become a Chicago Bull. Derek, speak, speaking of BJ, how has he helped you through this whole process, and specifically in, in dealing with the Bulls, of which he had some great years here himself? Uh, he helped me a lot, like becoming a man, being mature, and and just my work ethic and just telling me to calm down and uh, really enjoy this time because it'll never happen again. You Have played you for some pretty good pressure? coaches, uh, you know, Robert Smith at, at Simeon uh, and John Calipari, but now you potentially come into a situation with a guy who's never been a head coach before. What was uh, your interaction with Vinny like and your, your impressions of him as a head coach? Um, he's fine. He's played in the NBA, so he's been in the game. So um, I talked to him yesterday. We were talking about the offense that he was running, but he was saying that he wanted to run his offense through his defense. And, and Coach Cal and Robert Smith, that's what they were talking about, running that defense through, like, their um, <coughs> offense through that defense. And that's the way I've been playing since my, like, my whole years of playing basketball. Defense um, makes offense. So he's my type of coach. Do you think the Bulls will draft you there? Um, hopefully, I hope so. Do you think <laughs> they should? So. Uh, I don't want to say uh, I think they should, but I hope they can um, take me in consideration. Have you How thought about what number you'll wear? Oh, no, no, I don't even know what numbers are available. I just know that it's a couple of left. Derek, how about some of the other guys that you met here today, who are current players on this roster? What are your impressions of them, and how could you fit in with them? Uh, they're working out. It's not even um, in the season. They're up and they're going hard, getting shots up, and I like to see that because that's the type of player I am. Derek, have any other point guards in the league given you advice? Oh no, not not many. Um, Baron, Baron Davis, and that was about the only one. And um, LeBron James during during the NCAA tournament. Derek, how difficult is it for you when you think that you're from Chicago, you could be a number one pick, and the pressures that it could bring? Oh, it's not that big than the number one pick. I just, I'm just happy to be in this um, position right now. And what was your other question, man? Well, well, your, the pressures working here, living here, uh, playing here, friends here, it's a lot of, and being so young. Oh, no, it's not no pressure. I've been playing here my whole life, so um, I'll be happy just to play here. Derek, what was it like growing up with your, your brothers? You know, what, three older brothers that were all pretty good basketball players and yes. they kind of showed you the way. What was uh, that like for you when you were growing up? Oh, it was exciting going up to the park, seeing them play, wishing that I could beat them or be better than them, um, crying when they beat me in the game. And now I could just try, I could just bully them now on the court. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, what you know of what you know of this Bulls team? How do you feel you could help them right away? Um, I think I can help um, by being my man and making shots for other players and just becoming a leader. And I know they help me a lot too by helping me helping me become that leader. And hopefully we just win a couple of more games. Derek, Derek did, any, did any of the different? questions or the Bulls ask you surprise you that you know when they ask about your game or about you as a person, what they want to know about you? Um, you can pretty much say everything. Um, at the dinner at um, dinner last night, they asked about like every question. So anything you could think of, that's what they asked. <laughs> Trust me. How are you different now? Maybe even just aside from basketball than you were when you first went to Memphis. Or what did that year do for you? Um, I think I got mature. Uh, I matured a lot and becoming a complete basketball player. Like my dribbling and my IQ of the game got higher.